Hi, hello. This is Anup here. Today we are going to talk about SCM 2309 upgrade process. And then we are going to talk about the new features which got introduced with 2309. As well as we are going to talk about the trending topic whether SCM is going to die soon or not. So stay tuned. Don't skip the video. Let's go ahead and check this out. Let's check SCM 2309 upgrade process. We will also discuss about features and we will discuss about the favorite topic of many of you. Whether SCM is going to die soon or is it going to be a slow death. SCM 2309 versions and upgrade demo etc. We are going to see in this video. So first look at some of the features that got introduced run script got some of the updates over here as you can see scheduling option is available with run script now that is very very useful from a SCM perspective and as you can see over here ex external service notification run details from azure logic apps now configuration manager can capture and display azure logic app generated notifications as you can see over here there are some changes in site maintenance tasks one new task got introduced that is called delete age task execution status messages this is available on primary servers and there are some software updates related features that is called update orchestration service for windows 11 22h2 or later with native reboot experience this native reboot experience is huge it is going to give a better experience for end users there are some powershell script commandlets updates for creation of maintenance windows and there are some osd related improvements or new features introduced this is very very long pending update and requirement from many organizations and even community made some tools to cater this scenario previously many years before now microsoft introduced this option over here to enable the preferred management points for pixie requests this is very very useful for large organizations and there are some additional features like enable bitlocker through provision task sequence there's a new policy settings in SCM that is for Windows 11 edition upgrades as you can see over here you can do a SKU update of Windows using this particular policy settings in SCM and there are some improvements in the Windows 11 upgrade readiness dashboard as well this dashboard is going to help admins to make a strategy to upgrade to Windows 11 as well as it will give you the details of all the Windows 11 devices and installed feature updates etc etc. So this is going to be very useful for admins and there's a new feature to create a cloud management gateway via console. This is in line with the enhancement of the security during the creation of CMG and there are some powershell commandlets available for creating new CMG there are some improvements in ASR capability for server queues as well this is not a feature but a known issue is highlighted by Microsoft over here with 2309 version of SCM and there are some deprecated features as well resource access policies if you are still using resource access policies in SCM you are going to get blocked with 2403 updates that is the next update so Microsoft recommends that remove resource access policies if you are using that before January 2024 and Microsoft also provided some details about how to migrate to Azure this is a new word probably MCM customers that is nothing but Microsoft configuration manager recently I have posted something related to this in LinkedIn and it is surprising to see a lot of replay on that post definitely Microsoft has not announced end of life for SCM I have discussed this SCM dying topic in a different video if you can click on the i button in YouTube you would be able to see that so these are my key points no one is going to say SCM is going to die soon and as definitive date 
nobody is going to give because even microsoft don't know about that it is all about the customers the perfect example for this kind of scenario is on prem exchange servers there are some organizations still use on prem exchange servers and microsoft support them but entire world 99% of the world is moved to exchange online so most of the job opportunities admin tasks are related to exchange online not with on prem exchange so whether ssem is going to die or not that is something each organization is going to decide and they are going to kill or keep their on prem ssem servers but from a admin perspective i would strongly recommend to move on start learning intune i will also link intune training videos into i button over here in youtube this is 12 hours free intune training video you can refer to that if you like click on i button for that so start learning in tune that is the message over here let's look at 2309 version details this is the console version as you can see over here 2309111210000 and this is the site version 5091201000 and this is the build version 9120 and the revision version is going to change when it get released in fast string now it is an opt in release but with the fast string it is going to get changed and upgrade checklist i'm going to give all these details in the description of the video so do check that out so it is better to check the sql requirement os requirements client requirements and os version hardware details windows features and networks requirements before you upgrade to 2309 and these are ssem related checklist which you need to make sure before upgrading the server to 2309 The first thing is you need to run the prerequisite before one week of production upgrade I would say and then you need to make sure that you are doing top down approach if you have cas you have to upgrade cas first and then primary servers if you are stand alone primary and secondary servers you need to go with stand alone primary first and then secondary servers and make sure you follow all these details explained here and more details are available in the description of the video now we are going to see the upgrade of ssem 2309 in the lab environment uh, there are some catches as you can see over here you need to manually install microsoft odbc driver 18 for sql server that is one of the prerequisite for 2309 version and basically this is to use the enhance capabilities of sql so make sure that you install that before upgrading the servers to 2309 otherwise the upgrade process will fail this installation helps you to avoid getting the error sql client prerequisite missing for configuration manager setup and you can see the 2309 version is installed etc we'll see that in the demo Okay now you can see the 2309 version of SCM and I have started the download process and you can see the downloading is happening now it's ready to install let's install the 2309 version you can see the configuration manager update wizard I'm going to select the default options over there and now it is starting the installation process you can check the status from the show status button over here and if you click on show status button in the ribbon menu you would be able to see the details what is the stage now it is in replication stage and normally i have seen the replication stage is taking lot of time and in between i have seen some issues with prerequisites with odbc driver connections but i was able to resolve that now i have installed the site upgraded the site to 2309 version and upgraded the console as well to the latest version of the console if you go to updates and servicing you would be able to see that this site is upgraded to the latest version of configuration manager 
that is 2309 and you can see the full version client version etc etc console is upgraded now as you can see over here if you go to about console you would be able to see the latest version as we discussed in the presentation this is the latest version and it got updated if i go back to administration and updates and servicing you would be able to see 2309 version is installed and full version is 91201000 and the client version is same as the full version so the upgrade has been successfully completed now that you have seen all the details about 2309 new features how to upgrade what are the prerequisites etc etc and you have a clear understanding of SSEM career paths in tune career paths now hopefully this was helpful Thank you all for watching. See you around.